Great. So now that we've given it a little bit of time to see if more folks would join us, um, I'm going to just go through some housekeeping items first. So um, for housekeeping, uh, if you need closed captions, there is um, a part of the uh, Zoom bar at the bottom that should have a little CC for closed captions. If you're not able to see that, um, it may be because you need to click on those three dots that say more, um, and then there should be an option that says captions there. Um, also, if you need interpretation, um, the, we do have an area that you can click um, for Espanol, or actually, even if you are an English speaker, you will also need to be clicking here to um, hear English. Um, there's just, it's how it works when it comes to how our questions are gonna come out and all that kind of stuff. So please just pick whatever language you are most comfortable um, listening in today. Um, we also will be entering all questions into the chat box. There are folks who are able to help if there are any tech issues in that chat box, but also just for general questions during the summit. Um, please keep yourself on mute until any Q&A moments or we have um, any moments that we're asking if folks want to share out loud. Um, but other than that, please keep yourselves on mute just for you know, purposes of uh, being able to hear one another. And then also know this event, event is being recorded and will be posted online after the fact. Um, so if that's not something you're comfortable with, um, that may this may not be the space uh, for you. With that said, um, if you need to contact us for any assistance, feel free to contact sbhcollaboratory at uic.edu. Next slide, please. So just our little agenda for today. Um, it has also been posted in the chat, um, but today we just talk a little bit about the nonprofit capacity building program, go into some grant funding info. Um, we have an awesome panel today, um, go over some grant opportunities, and then we'll also just talk about some additional resources later. Um, but next slide. So just to get us started um, to talk a little bit about the Chicago Recovery Plan and the Nonprofit Capacity Building Program that y'all are being part of today. Um, so just to introduce myself real quick, my name is Bea Floresca and I'm a graduate assistant working with the UIC School of Public Health, um, which is one of the program partners on this city initiative. Um, before we get started on more programming today, like I mentioned, just here to talk a little bit more about Chicago Recovery Plan um, and talk about the nonprofit capacity building. Um, I won't have time to answer questions during my presentation, so feel free to ask your questions in the chat first to collect later today. Um, but to begin, what is the Chicago Recovery Plan? Chicago Republic Recovery Plan, or CRP for short, um, is the city of Chicago's plan to uplift funding um, to create an equity-based investment strategy, mostly post-COVID-19. Um, it was funded along the goals of the, Chicago, the American Rescue Plan Act, um, which hopes to help us work towards that sustainable economic recovery after the effects of that COVID-19 pandemic. Um, so I've mentioned before this investment, but where is this money all coming from? Um, the funding for CRP is a mix of money from the um, American Rescue Plan Act or ARPA that I mentioned before, along with 600 uh, million other dollars in local bond funds. And all of this funding is being distributed alongside um, other available resources in the city budget to help maximize opportunities in the next three to five years of funding periods. Um, if you want to learn more, uh, there is that um, link in the slides and these slides will be distributed after the summit for reference as well if you'd like to explore. Um, next slide please. So I just wanted to provide a little bit more context too about what the American Rescue Plan Act is, but I'm sure other people have heard of it before. Um, so ARPA was created with three goals in mind at the federal level to provide financial relief to combat COVID-19 and to calm the economy. And while all of you probably have some experience with these goals and for the purposes of the summit, I'm just gonna focus on that direct financial relief part. Um, Direct financial relief came in two ways, um, individual economic impact payments. So for example, some people got um, child tax credits, um, employee retention credits, um, unemployment rules changed a bit. And then there's also that state and local fiscal recovery funds, which 
um, came into projects like this where uh, financial relief programs were funded and CRP was funded through ARPA. Um, $1.9 billion in state and local fiscal recovery funding was allocated by Congress to the city of Chicago from ARPA. So all of this money is set to be used during the timeline of March, 2021 through December, 2024. So we've got about a year left there. <laughs> um, but if you want to learn more about ARPA, again, there's more um, links here for whenever you're able to access these slides. So just to talk a little bit more, um, next slide please, thank you. So um, as the nonprofit capacity building program is like this one piece of the puzzle, I wanna point folks towards the direction of the CRP um, data dashboards if you're wanting to learn more. Um, these dashboards provide a breakdown of how all of this money is being used because it is again, not just being used in the nonprofit capacity building program. Um, we don't have time to go through all of the parts of the data dashboards, but I certainly recommend checking them out via the site below. Um, by looking at where funding is going, you might have a better understanding um, of where to, uh, what, what sort of initiatives folks need to support and have funding for your orgs and missions. Um, next slide, please. So what exactly is this nonprofit capacity program? Um, this initiative, once again, was created in response to the 2019 uh, COVID-19 pandemic, having left many nonprofits to experience that financial hardship um, and higher demands of folks wanting y'all services. And um, due to various effects of the pandemic and important social movements, we know that in general, there's a need for increase in funding and capacity. And in attempts to support nonprofit nonprofits better, um, the city of Chicago created this program to provide more technical assistance and capacity building program services um, for those impacted. And while we already are in um, the, the third quarter of this initiative, um, curated events and seminars continue to be organized with the needs of nonprofits in mind. Um, and on the slide, you can see some of the examples of topics and trainings, um, like how to apply for RFPs or request for proposals many different types of small group workshops, how to deal with compliance and reporting expectations. Um, and all of these workshops are facilitated by capacity building organizations like UIC and others that I will mention soon, um, who are pretty oriented with that Chicago ecosystem. Um, next slide, please. So in terms of events, um, we have these readiness summits, which you are already a part of, um, which is very exciting. Thank you for joining us today. Um, and these usually include sessions on best practices, common mistakes when applying for funding. We have a lot of panels in this space um, and also notifications of upcoming funding opportunities. And on the other side of the program, we also have our application assistance um, in the form of webinars, weekly small group workshops that are held by different partners, um, and then one-on-one -on -one application assistance. But I know that this particular initiative is closing up for the season. Um, with that said, I, we can move on to the next slide. So program partners, as I mentioned before, all of these supports that were on the last slide would not be possible without the nonprofit capacity building partners, um, including the Austin Chamber of Commerce, Touch Gift Foundation, the Garfield Park Community Council, the Women's Business Development Center, um, the Greater Auburn Gresham Development Center, or Development Corporation, my apologies, uh, the Chicago Foundation for Women, um, the Lakeview Roscoe Village Chamber of Commerce in Urban Strategies, North Branch Works, and the UIC Public Health Collaboratory for Health Justice. So shout out to all the organizations who are doing this work. Um, we really appreciate what y'all are doing. So next slide, please. So when it comes to resources, um, since we are at the end of the year, we do not have any more, um, well, we do have one more workshop that I will share after this, but we have a bunch of existing resources, as we will call them, as most of the webinars and small group workshops have been um, recorded in some way or fashion. So if you are looking for that archive of recordings, and not just from you know, this um, fall 2023, but also the other quarters, um, you can check them out at chicago.gov slash BACP recovery plan. There you can find webinars on everything from like budgeting and nonprofits, financial readiness, stuff like that. Um, and also again, some of those small group workshops that were recorded like creating logic models. Um, but I do wanna share that we have one more um, exciting event coming up uh, regarding nonprofit networking. 
Oh, I guess it is not in the slides, but I can verbally say it. There is one at the, I, I do have a slide at the end of the um, uh, slideshow for sure. It is on December 19th um, and it is held with AMPT at um, the La Casa de Cultural. Um, I, but yeah, that, that event is from 11.30 to 1.30 PM, but I will drop um, a link or something to one of our announcements for that there. Um, but with that said, we do have some time before our welcome from the mayor. Hello, I'm Mayor Brandon Johnson. I want to welcome you all to the Nonprofit Readiness Summit hosted by BACP. Nonprofits play a vital role in creating a more equitable and thriving Chicago. During the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, many nonprofits experienced financial and operational hardship. This summit is an important part of our economic recovery. It allows us to rebuild the strong networking of nonprofits and helps you all continue the great work that you do for our city. Please know that Chicago is here to support you through programs and events like today's summit, and we look forward to providing more assistance and resources. I want to thank BACP Commissioner Ken Meyer for his leadership and for spearheading economic recovery programs like this one, which is ensuring a strong recovery for our city. I encourage you to learn all you can, network and make connections, and explore the tools and resources provided to help your organizations grow and thrive. Thank you. Thank you to the mayor, even though I know that was a video. Um, still fun to get a nice shout out here. Um, 